Today I want to build another attachment with you. So these are the parts we're going to need. We're going to need two uh, seven uh, beams. We're going to need one 13 beam. We're going to need two black pegs. We're going to need two blue pegs, four red pegs with the axle end on them, one two by four uh, L beam, and a picture frame and a Lego band. This is uh, not a regular rubber band, but a Lego band that comes in your EV3 kits. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the black pegs and I'm going to put them in the uh, end of the picture frame just like this. And then I'm gonna turn it around. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two red pegs and I'm gonna put them in the two top holes of the L-beam like this. Okay, make sure it's this way and not flipped around this way. Um, and then I'm going to put them in the last two holes of the picture frame. The rightmost two holes on the other end, opposite of the black pegs of the picture frame. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red peg, another red peg, and I'm going to put it in the last hole of the 13 uh, beam and I'm going to stick it right beside in the other hole now if you notice it'll flip this way But not this way flip this way, but not this way I'm going to take this other red peg and I'm going to stick it down. I don't know about nah, Right there's good It'll be different for everybody. Okay, what works best for you? You're gonna adjust it later on anyway I know it uh, and then I'm going to take the rubber band and I'm gonna if your uh, Lego band isn't um, this long, then you don't have to double it up, but I'm gonna double mine up, and then I'm going to uh, put it on this red peg, around it, in between, and then down to this red peg. And if you notice, it flips this way, but not that way. It pushes this way, and then flings back, but it doesn't go that way. Uh, now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two blue pegs and I'm going to put them in the last holes uh, of the, well, third and the third up and the last one of the 13. And I'm going to put the uh, seven pegs on that, just like that. So it has a little paddle at the end. Okay, now it's time to put it on the robot and I want to show you exactly uh, where this goes. It goes, it clips in picture frame to picture frame just like that and when you're driving if you need to push something without going with a certain distance it'll flip back and then go back to where it was again that'll flip back and then just go roll, go right back to where it was all right we're on the first lego league hydrodynamics playing field now and uh, this filter mission is the mission that the attachment uh, was uh, created for it was the one that we had in mind whenever uh, we started designing this uh, one-way uh, push flapper thingy whatever the technical term is for it so uh, as the robot drives forward it will just push the filter and it'll keep driving over it and then it's out of the way I'll show you from another angle the robot just keeps pushing 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 flips over it and it's out of the way I hope you found this useful. If you did, maybe subscribe for some more ideas coming your way.